Today, we are making some new shipping dynamics. If you're unfamiliar with shipping dynamics, they're basically the dynamics that exist between two people or characters in a relationship. For instance, some popular ones are angry small and gentle tall. Has no brain cells and has all the brain cells or shares a brain cell, gloomy partner and sunshine partner, etc. I saw a tweet not too long ago that was something along the lines of you could take any stock photo and turn it into a shipping dynamic. And so we're going to attempt to do that. Will they be the most original? We'll try. Will they be chaotic as f Definitely. And you lovely viewer can use anything we come up with in this video, whether it's for fan art, fanfics, go for and it. And without further ado, let's get started. But before we begin, I want to give a very special thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that lets you browse over 600 different designer brands and receive a 30-day supply of a new fragrance every month for only $16. And if you love their service, then you can upgrade to two to three cents a month. Take Scentbird's fragrance recommendation quiz, and based on your preferences and quiz answers, Scentbird will help you find a fragrance you love. I am in love with the following scents I received. There's Fall Cashmere by Skylar, which is perfect for the autumn season with its roasted almond cinnamon ginger scent that smells like hugging an old friend. And then there's Blush by Rebecca Minkoff. It's got Italian bergamot, black currant, jasmine, pear blossom, and tonka bean. Very fancy. Exhale by Good Habit is great as a subtle everyday perfume with its notes of dewy greens, rose water, water lily, skin musk, and cedar wood. And can I just talk for a second about Gucci Memoir because holy heck, whenever I wear this one out, I feel like I'm in a cottagecore dream. Roman Cal Chamomile, coral jasmine, vanilla, whoo! Me and Gucci, who knew? With Scentbird, you can pick the perfect scents for the season. Warmer and hardier scents for fall and winter, and fresher lighter scents for spring and summer, for instance, that appeal to your own personal taste and style with ease. I am a sucker for nice scents, and with Scentbird, it's really cool that I can get all these different varieties of different perfumes and colognes without having to go to the perfume department and then come home with a bottle that I don't end up using. Be sure to use my code Coley for 30% off your first month at Scentbird. That's just $11 for your first month. Check out my link in the description if you're interested. Scentbird is available in the US and Canada, so give it a shot if you're ready to smell really, really good. Thanks again, Scentbird. And off the bat, we start off with an absolute banger. My first thought is that character A is into some weird stuff like sniffing sandals, and then character B goes along with it because they either want their validation or they like them. Well, this is just every mermaid AU. Kiss the girl, 2021 edition. Yes, 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 yes. The tension, the tension between their eyes. Easy, two characters, or if you want to be more specific, then two lady characters trying to flirt while simultaneously asserting their dominance. They look like great business partners. Or instead of, and they were roommates, it's, oh, and they were coworkers. Help, I accidentally fell in love with the monster. Venom, Let There Be Carnage 2021. Two characters that are into each other, but are too prideful to admit it or acknowledge it. Is this every single stereotypical heterosexual relationship? Character one isn't a super affectionate person. Character two, oh, I am giving you my affection. Take it. Drama queen squared. Two drama queens, one crowd. I have dark fantasies, babe. That's nice, sweetie, but I gotta pee now. Character A is a villain, maybe with a bit of a romantic streak, and character B is a happy-go-lucky, oblivious goof. Will they make it work? Only the fanfics can tell. Character A is super stoic and serious. Character B is also super stoic and serious, but when they come together, it's like magic happens. Suddenly, they're both like little kids giggling with each other, and it's just super cute and wholesome. Character A and character B constantly compete for who can outdo each other in terms of romance. I booked an all-expenses-paid trip to the Bahamas, babe. Yeah, well, I rented out that fantasy bar you've been wanting to try for a year. Karen x Karen. Both characters are Karens and they're in a grocery store. And then they both reach for the last can of soup. They turn to look at each other and they call the manager over. They fight, but then it turns out they're both in the same hot yoga class and oh, sparks fly. And then they terrorize their neighborhoods together. Oh, I love this dynamic. It's goth x Yeehaw. They will run a marvelously macabre farm or bed and breakfast together. My initial thought is that character A is into something pretty niche or is just a heckin' nerd. And they're like, oh my God, my favorite character just died. My ship sank. I'm so sad, my heart. Ugh. Or they could be happy like, oh, my ship is sailing. Ah! And their partner character B, bless them, does not get it at all, but they're trying to be supportive. This is giving me so much bi-couple energy. So a hookup or one night stand just happened. Character A is like, what did we do? And then character B is like, what did we do? What is this? Both characters are internally critiquing each other's styles. Like, oh God, he has a mullet. Is he stuck in the eighties? And why are his clothes so dark and gloomy? But weirdly enough, they're both still into each other. We got BTS tickets together, babe. Yeah. 
yeah. this is just Wally. Two non-organic characters discover love and feelings through each other. It's my turn with the Xbox. Go easy on me, babe. Does not go easy on them. I'm coming up blank for this one. The only thing I could think of would be like a play on apple of my eye, but it's a watermelon. Character A can't stop looking at character B's chest. Character B knows that character A is looking at their chest, but it's cool with this it. This is so, oh, his eyes are so soulless. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> this is reminding me of Joker and Harley, and I am not into that. A literal or figurative succubus and their very willing victim? Neither of these people have brain cells, but it's okay because they have each other. Dentist day you? I haven't read one of those in a long time. Oh! Oh! No, okay, so two professionals in like a similar field, for instance, maybe a doctor and a dentist, and they get together at some conference and then <gasps> sparks fly. Character A and character B are horrifically chuggy together and they're very proud of it. Character A is super excitable and fun. Character B didn't really know how they became friends with character A, but oh no. Yeah, we're best buddies. Yeah, <laughs> buddies. I love you so much. Yes, dear, everyone knows. I don't know why my mind jumped exactly to this, but I'm picturing soccer mom and mob boss. Character A, who's the soccer mom, drags character B, who's the mob boss, along to like their Pilates class or their yoga class, and mob boss goes along with it and they just love each other. Last night I made Johnny sleep with the fishes. Ooh, speaking of fishes, I made some tuna casserole for dinner. We met each other at the Macy's fitting room. This is every spy fic where character A has to kill character B, but spoilers, they end up falling in love and then character B finds out that character A is an assassin and then angst happens, but yay, happy ending in the end, they get together. Or ambiguous ending, if they both go into hiding or something. Or oh no, one of them dies, or both of them dies, ah. I'm just picturing character A and character B going to marriage counseling but then character B falls in love with character C, who's the marriage counselor, and is like, oh, if only I met you in another life. Stoner couple. This screams whatever Shang and Mulan had together. Essentially falls in love with herself. Like character A and character B are basically the same people. Why are there so many yoga stock photo pictures? Rich X rich Character A looks like they wear the pants. Character B actually wears the pants. Some options for this one could be character A is super gossipy, kind of nosy, and is like, see, I told you Cheryl and Brad should have ended up together. And then their partner, character B is like, yeah, I see your point. Or it could be another workplace scenario where character A is like, and this would make this, this, this work more efficiently. And character B is like, God, this person is so cool. The biggest clown with the shyest small <gasps> forbidden love. Maybe these two characters are trying to make it work, but no, they shouldn't be together for whatever reason, but they're still going to try. Character A and character B have opposing schemes of some sort, but they both enjoy each other's company and chicken, so they're gonna indulge in that first. Neither character has any sense of propriety when it comes to PDA. Character A is finally revealing just how weird they are, and character B is wondering what the hell they just got themselves into. But hey, it turns out they're both weird. Was absolutely not prepared for dating two people at once. Or maybe they were so surprised that two people want to date them at the same time that they passed out. Himbo square. Character A is super photogenic. Character B is absolutely not photogenic. Hipster ex hipster they both meet in the same hole in the wall coffee shop both love the same obscure brand of coffee after trying to out hipster each other they fall in love the high school couple that stay together against all odds cosplayer ex cosplayer maybe they meet at the same convention and character a is cosplaying character b's favorite character or vice versa or maybe they're from opposing series or maybe they get off on the wrong foot, I don't know. But in the end, they both go to conventions together and they cosplay things together. It's super, super cute. We can do it. Super, super corny couple. Furry, ex-furry lover. Super goofy and domestic couple, I love Unenthusiastic it. Unenthusiastic tutor, ex overly enthusiastic tutor. Does not look like they get together under any circumstances, but they end up lasting the longest. I saw mommy kissing Sasquatch. Character A doesn't know how they bagged character B, but they're just going with it. Another one that rendered me speechless. My partner's a basket case. Well, I did ask for a gamer GF. Very avant-garde together. They'll make some really interesting art house films. And there you have it. Lots of new shipping dynamics for you. There is a plethora of weird stock photos out there so if you want to explore on your own then please feel free and if you come up with any interesting new shipping dynamics then share them with me on twitter or in the comments thank you so much again for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video bye